Windows 365. Great Scott, I'm in the future. Greetings fellow YouTubers, Andy Malone, Microsoft MVP and Microsoft Certified Trainer. I've been in Windows a long time, a long time, starting back in, oof, it was Windows 2 and I was working with MS-DOS back in the day. We've seen Windows 95, we've seen Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, oh my gosh, we've seen so many versions of Windows. But now for the very first time, we're seeing Windows in the cloud. Now, I got to be honest, I kind of saw this coming a couple of years ago when Microsoft purchased the Windows365.com domain name, which is still not active, by the way, but it will be soon. Um, coming August 2nd, Microsoft are taking its Azure virtual desktop, uh, rebranding it to be called uh, Windows 365 for consumers. So what does it mean and how does it work? Well, I thought I've got a little demo for you, which doesn't include Windows 365, but you'll get the idea of hopefully how things are going to slot in. Anyway, um, as always, if you enjoy the session, go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. And uh, I'm going to make a few predictions here. So let's see if I'm right. So let's have a look at how the, all of this could transpire. So uh, yesterday at Microsoft Inspire, my, uh, Satya Nandela announced the first consumer version of the cloud PC. Now, of course, we've had Microsoft Azure for quite some time. We've had virtual machines for many years now. And we've also had things like remote desktop services, terminal server, and so on. But this is the first time that Microsoft are offering this service to both consumers and also business customers as well. So essentially how it works is it's going to be a little bit like this. So basically you'll go in and you'll have your own Microsoft365.com login page. You'll go in and you'll be able to launch your Windows on any device on any device, including an iPad, a Mac, PC, whatever. So this is perfect um, if you in this kind of new world of work, as Microsoft called it, so that we can work from home, um, you can work on your corporate, corporate machine, and the thing is any files and data and so on that you work with gets stored directly to your business account. So you can go and you can have a look at the nice uh, shiny commercial here. And uh, the key thing is it's personalized devices, simple to secure. So you don't need to update them. It's Windows as a service. Microsoft update all of this for you. And of course, it coincides with the Microsoft 365 account. So all your data and so on will be uh, secured uh, for you. So personal, um, again, you'll be able to choose different sizes. So very similar to Microsoft Azure, you can choose the amount of RAM that you want, the number of CPUs that you want. So if you're a kind of a serious gamer or something like that. And the key selling point here is that you can stream to any device. So how is this going to actually look um, from the business perspective. Well, if I flip over here into Microsoft 365, um, you know, I'm an MVP. Experience has shown that Microsoft like working with single names. So although they're marketing it as Microsoft, uh, sorry, Windows 365, we had Office 365. I think eventually everything will come under the banner of Microsoft 365. So that's my uh, prediction. And it's also my prediction here that here um, on the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, as a business user, you will start seeing your personalized desktop environment in here and you'll be able to click on these. OK, that's my big prediction. Um, now, in terms of administration, <clears throat> excuse me, if I go into the 365 admin center, of course, user and group management, everything here will remain unchanged. I think the big place where you're going to see this 
is in Intune. Now, Intune, of course, or Endpoint Manager is a combination of both Microsoft Intune and also its security platform Defender. So you can see here, for example, um, in Intune at the moment, I can see all of my devices within my organization. So I can manage my own corporate devices here, my iPads, my you know, Macs, PCs, iPhones, and so on. Um, you can um, uh, obviously enroll devices in your organization. And I honestly think this is where you're going to see some changes in the next few days or next week or so. Um, you'll see Windows and you'll see the Windows remote desktop devices in here. In fact, if we already go into devices and we go into Windows, um, we can actually start to see those uh, already starting to seep through here. So um, Windows devices, you can see that we've got obviously um, different versions of, you know, you can view by platform here. Um, you can see um, in terms of Windows enrollment, um, you can see which devices you want to enroll. And again, I think this is where you're going to see some changes here um, in this page. This is where you're going to have, and it's a natural platform for this. Okay, it's a natural place for them to bring that deployment tool in. Um, so, um, and again, you'll be able to manage updates for these virtual uh, remote environments. And the key thing is by keeping it all in Intune, you'll be able to manage the security, the reports, the users, things like conditional access, and also um, things like multi-factor authentication and using Windows Hello, of course, if your device uh, supports it. So in terms of excitement, yes, I'm very excited. So again, um, this is the really taking this kind of next step. So, you know, if you're, you're on the go, you're working for a company, you're working from home, which let's face it, many of us are at the moment. I think this is going to be a great solution. So it's taking the virtual desktop really to the final frontier. So the cloud PC available August 2nd, check it out. It's going to be Microsoft365.com. Okay. So there you go, guys. That's my predictions for Windows 365, the all new cloud PC service from Microsoft. Now, I would love to hear your questions, your comments, your feedback. What do you think? Do you think this is a huge revolution or do you think it's just another small step? Do you think that Windows will continue? Now, of course, Microsoft have just announced the, in, the release of Windows 11. Do you think it's going to continue as a software-based download for a PC? Or do you think it's the cloud way it's going to go? I'd be really interested to know your thoughts on it. Anyway, as always, drop those thoughts, questions below. And as always, I love your comments and questions. I really do. Um, go ahead, click on that subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, I really need you to be subscribed. Go ahead, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, and you won't miss on any future postings. Okay, so thanks very much for tuning in. I'll see you next time. You stay safe. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and ring that bell and you won't miss a thing. See you next time.